guys, it's Abby or by the Angel Books and today I'm going to be doing a book discussion for the book Fitz by Mick Cochran. For those of you who do not know much about this book, which I'm assuming is a lot of you because it's not very well known, the book is about a boy named Fitz who his whole life he has grown up just him and his mom and he's not upset about that. However, he finds out that his real dad lives very close to him. So with that information, he composes this plan to force his dad at gunpoint to explain everything and kind of to love him, which it's weird and I thought it sounded really intriguing. However, I did give this book two stars. If you would like to know why I gave it two stars and you haven't read the book, I will link my Goodreads review below, which is spoiler free. And I'll just say on here, it was just disappointed and it let me down and I just overall didn't enjoy it. I didn't think it lived up to what I thought it was going to be. However, that being said, I wouldn't completely discard this book if it does sound interesting to you. Just I would say don't go into it with super high expectations because it's not bad, it just didn't live up to mine. Now I'm going to be discussing this book, not necessarily super big spoilers, but just going into some of the plot details. So if you would not like to be spoiled in that way, I would recommend that you leave this video now and come back if and when you read this book. Okay, so for you, those of you who stayed, who have read this book, hello. I'd just like to ask that you be patient with me. This is the first, like, kind of book discussion I've done. It might be kind of everywhere, it's not really structured, but I'm just gonna be, you know, rambling on about my thoughts and whatnot. But for those of you who have read this and probably are wondering why I give it two stars, if you did enjoy it, I just want to say that I think the plot was better than the execution itself. The plot itself sounded weird, it sounded intriguing, however, I don't think that Mick Cochran was able to execute it very well. See, I feel like he had a very good idea for a story and he thought it was going to sell well, which I suppose it probably has. He, he put the whole a father, a son, and a gun thing on the front, which was really intriguing. However, I feel like he was kind of lazy with the rest of the plot. He had this idea that could be cool and he could flesh it out, but it felt like he just didn't. I feel like we just had plot, 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 like all these points about the plot, but there was like no fleshed out, no details, and I feel like I'm just repeating the same thing. But that's just how I felt, and that's why I didn't really enjoy the book. Despite the fact that this book was less than 200 pages, I felt like it was really, really slow. All the way up till the end, when the whole, when he gets dropped off by his dad and his dad stays and the whole music and the mom comes thing was just super fast and it just felt not like together, I guess. Nevertheless, I read this book, I read and I read and I read and I just kept pushing because I wanted to know. The whole time, they were like, the dad's gonna say something, the dad's gonna say why this happened, and I thought it was gonna be some big reveal. And I mean, it didn't have to be like his dad was Spider-Man and left, but I felt like the whole reveal of just, your mom told me I left and I didn't come back was really not good. Now I'm in no way trying to say that that wasn't, you know, heartbreaking and tragic and whatnot. I just felt like the build was not to that. Like it should have been something bigger because he was like, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this story. We go to the zoo, we go to the law office, all this stuff building up to this big reveal moment and it just wasn't there. Really the whole writing and whatnot of this book just felt like since I'm 14 and a lot of my friends are around that age, one of my friends just kind of telling me about a day that something interesting happened to them but I just wasn't interested. Like that's great for you but I'm not interested in it. <laughs> like the characters were very underdeveloped. I didn't feel myself connecting to any of them and maybe that's why I couldn't really feel for Fitz and it wasn't very emotional for me is because I never got connected to Fitz. And even with Fitz being a very underdeveloped character in my opinion, I felt like the dad was even worse. Like, if you're gonna make a character that you want your characters to feel for, especially if it's, you know, not a huge reason that they left, I feel like you need to flesh them out more and give them more things to empathize with. But I didn't feel any of that. And honestly, don't even get me started on the side characters. I felt like you constantly, he constantly wanted you to feel for them and they were barely there. Most of the book was just Fitz and his dad, which is okay, that's what it was about, but I just didn't feel connected to the side characters practically at all. The only real interaction, I mean, there was a couple pages, but most of the interaction with the side characters was through Fitz, like him telling you how great they were, him telling you these things, which is cool, you know, it's cool to learn about things, but it's like, if 
I just went on and on about my family and my best friend and how great they are, you'd be like, that's cool, they sound like cool people, but you can't really feel for them until you meet them, which we didn't really get a chance to do. Overall, I just think it could have been a better book, it just wasn't executed very well. I think the plot was good, and I think the writing was alright, all, however, I don't think they blended very well together, and I just don't think it was fleshed out enough, and I don't think the characters were there enough, and I just didn't really feel anything. I just felt like I was just flipping through pages, you know? It was just kind of an overall letdown. Alright, so that's just my little discussion. I didn't have too, too much to say about this book, because it wasn't too, too big of a book. It was under 200 pages. So yeah, if you have read this book, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, the good, the bad, and the ugly. My name is Abby, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.